we have already completed construction working and characteristics of enhancement type MOSFET. We have completed everything related to enhancement type MOSFET and now we will see how depletion type MOSFET is constructed and out of N channel and P channel we will see the construction of N channel depletion type MOSFET and once we understand how N channel depletion type MOSFET is constructed we can easily relate how P channel depletion type MOSFET is constructed like enhancement type MOSFET a slab of P type material is formed from a silicon base and it is known as substrate I will quickly make a slab of P type material the first thing we have to do is to take a silicon wafer and after this we will introduce trivalent impurities to this silicon wafer and then we have P type P type substrate substrate is the foundation or base on which our device is constructed we are going to construct depletion type MOSFET and for that substrate is the foundation or base two N wells are formed out of which one will act as source and the other will act as drain if you remember the enhancement type MOSFET we did the same thing two N type wells are created and N and out of these two N type wells one will act as source and the other will act as drain till now everything is same as enhancement type MOSFET if you remember in case of enhancement type MOSFET voltage VGS voltage VGS was required to enhance the channel because channel was not present initially but in case of depletion type MOSFET channel is present from the beginning so along with two N wells we also create a N channel connecting the two N wells this is the N channel connecting the two N wells and as you can see N type materials are in contact with the P type material depletion layer will be formed depletion layer will be formed like this now let us talk about metal contacts we have four terminals in case of MOSFET the first terminal is the source terminal and this is the metal contact this is the source terminal then we have the drain terminal this is the metal contact of the drain terminal I will represent it by capital D then we have the substrate or body terminal and this is the metal contact the substrate or body terminal the remaining terminal is the gate terminal metal contact of gate terminal is insulated from the end channel by a very thin SiO2 layer in case of gate there is very thin layer of silicon dioxide the dye electric layer this is the layer of silicon dioxide and the metal contact of gate is placed over the silicon dioxide layer so let's draw the metal contact of gate over the silicon dioxide layer this terminal is the gate terminal and this is the silicon dioxide layer and you can see clearly that there is no direct electrical connection between the gate and the channel this is the end channel and due to SiO2 there is no direct contact between the gate and the end channel and because of SiO2 the input impedance of MOSFET becomes very high the input impedance of MOSFET is high because of SiO2 layer now let us try to understand why there is MOS along with FET FET stands for field effect transistor we already know the meaning of field effect transistor and now we will try to understand meaning of metal oxide semiconductor let's try to understand 
why there is metal oxide semiconductor in the name metal is there due to metal contacts of drain source and gate particularly gate you can see the metal contacts of source gate and drain and the particular case we are taking is the case of gate oxide is there because of silicon dioxide there is layer of silicon dioxide between the gate and the body and because of this reason there is oxide in the name and the semiconductor is there semiconductor is the basic structure over which n type and p type regions are diffused so now we understand why there is metal oxide semiconductor along with field effect transistor metal is for the metal contact oxide is for silicon dioxide and then we have semiconductor as the basic structure now let us talk about the terminals in case of mosfet in many cases we have four terminal mosfets if this is the construction we have four terminals but if substrate or body terminal is connected internally is connected internally to the source terminal then in that case we have three terminals the source terminal will act as the first terminal the gate terminal will act as the second terminal and the drain terminal will act as the third terminal so we have three terminal mosfet as well as four terminal mosfet so this is all for this lecture in the next lecture we will try to understand the working of depletion type mosfet if you have any doubt in this lecture you may ask in the comment section